What's up everyone? Welcome back to Romancing Saga Minstrel Song Remastered. So I noticed something uh with the if you buy the Garo Mel, right? You actually lose out on quite a bit of defense instead of just adding Garo to the field plate. Uh, it's actually better to buy the field plate and then add Garl to it instead of just buying the Garl mail outright. So you come here and you buy the field plate and then you just add Garl to it. And that's the best way to do it. Uh, so basically I wasted money on those Garl mails or whatever, but it doesn't really matter. I'll... I'm going to be fine regardless. I just wasted a little bit of money. Well, I actually wasted a lot of money, but... Oh well. But yeah, you just buy the filled plates. You come here to Bruel. Uh, you add in the... May I help you? You customize, you add the... I got to actually equip it first. Uh, who do I want to give it to? Oh, they have a lot of defense, 107. But here's why it's better to add Garl, because you... you? Uh, Gar Garl to field plates is because you still keep the magic defense increase. Take a look at her Garl mail, right? It has 46 physical defense, which is great. That's what you want, right? But it only has 23 magic defense. Now, if you look at the field plate, it has 36. And then if you add Garl to it, you get even you get more physical defense and you you get good magic defense too. So yeah. So you just get a boost in magic defense by doing that. But yeah, I could easily go and take on the final boss and beat the final boss with the stats that I have now. Uh, probably, but we still have more quests to do. You guys know I like to do every quest and everything, or at least in this game you do you do the quest and hope you don't like get too strong and then miss out on quests. Like I missed out on uh, Unsettling Settlements and uh, Return of the Vampires. That's all I missed in this particular playthrough. But who knows, in the next playthrough I might miss Elling Emperor or something like that. You know, it just... It's just how it works out sometimes. Uh, but anyway, we're going to do the ecology quest in this episode. Uh, we completed one already, the plant... Or not, not the plant one, we did the insect one. And, um... Yeah, insect ecology. Greatly... Or gladly fulfilled the wish of Adilis. And we got that, uh... What was it, uh... We got something from Adilis. I think I gave it to Jamil. Yeah, the Serpent Staff. There you go. I gave it to him because it increases compassion. He's, believe it or not, like one of my best healers in the party. I know, I know it doesn't make much sense, right? Since he's a, a thief. He's a compassionate thief, guys. <laughs> He'll steal from you, but he doesn't. He doesn't really want to. He feels bad when he does it. <laughs> anyway, for this, uh, the planes we need to get plants. I believe. I, th I believe it's plants. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. I gotta look at my list of what abilities I need to use. It's been a while since, it's been a couple days since I recorded, so let me check my um, notes I have here. So I know what skills I need to use. So I'm, I need to learn Deadly Spin for Jamil. I just need to use Maim. Uh, for Monica, I need to learn. Did she already learn? Yeah, she learned Doppelgangers already. Uh, I need to use Sonic Slash with her. And then for Gelaha. 
one, two, three, I guess. I wish you could just turn off combo attacks. Like, I, w I wish you could turn off combos. And you could, like, toggle them on and off. Like, that would be great. Overkill. Too bad you don't get anything for overkilling enemies in Romancing Saga. This ain't Final Fantasy X. Around here I should have... I should have got find herbs. Oh well. It'll be okay. I'm just here to do the ecology stuff anyway. Man, the enemies around here are weak. We're fighting like enemies who fought at the beginning of the game. I think you can fight enemies in Mount Tamai too, I think. For this particular one. But it's better to do out in the plains because you have more space to dodge enemies. I'm pretty sure it does count. The plains does count, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the enemies are just weak. The planes must have a low power level. But yeah, basically, to do these ecology quests, for those of you who don't know, Basically what I do, I don't know the correct way to do it. Uh, I just defeat every enemy that's not what we're supposed to fight. So for instance, in this area, we don't kill any plants. We only kill every other enemy except for plants. So that's what I do. I don't know if there's a better way to do it. I know there's like a whole food chain in this game. It's very complex. Like certain, like, monsters eat other mo other types of monsters. So I don't know if I'm supposed to be going after one particular type of monster. Or am I supposed to go after every monster? I just go after every monster. That's how I used to do it when I played on PS2. So that's what I'm going to do again in this playthrough. Now I do remember getting frustrated at these quests when I was when I played this on PS2 because there was no like when you leave this area and come back it'll show you a roster uh, one through ten I'll show I'll show you after we're we're done fighting um, and it shows you what place the particular monster type is in that was not in the PS2 version. So, you had, what you had to do in the PS2 version was go back to Pyrex over and over again until you completed it. Uh, and just basically fight a lot of monsters and then hope hope that uh, hope you got it. And then if you don't, just go back and fight more. But in this game, all you do is go back to the nearest town which in this case would be Jelton. And then you go back into the plains. And there you go, you have your list right there. You saw that uh, plants were level 7. So we still have a, quite a ways to go. Oh crap, I went over by mistake. This controller is like, it's like sticky and don't, I'm not, it's not sticky because of, you know, what, what, you don't even go there. It's sticky because it's, I guess, like old or something. I don't know. It's an old, older controller. I've had this PS4 controller for quite a while. Because I have another one here that's not, like right here, this controller right here, I'm holding it right now. I have another controller. It's not sticky at all. I guess what the material over time develops that, I guess. I don't know. But it, I keep good care of my controllers. So. I'm 
There's no reason why it should be sticky for any other reason. But anyway, that's why I sometimes hit. Like I'll hit right and I don't actually hit right, you know? It like. I'm like hitting down, but it's going right, you know? That's how it happens. I could just buy. I'll, I'll probably buy, end up buying a new controller eventually. I guess we can get. We're getting a good supply of jewels. We're up to 900. So how do you guys do the ecology quest? Do y'all, do you guys fight every enemy, or do you, uh, do you fight a particular type of enemy? <clears throat> These enemies are like super easy, though. Oh, beast fang. Getting a little bit of frame drop here. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this playthrough. This is probably like my favorite playthrough that I've done. Um, I think Square Enix did an amazing job on this remaster. And I'm glad to be playing it again because even though I'd already beat it eight times, that was a long time ago. And I do remember a lot from back then. But it, it's refreshing to go go back through it again. When I in the back of my head in the first episode I was like, I'm probably gonna get bored of this game. But I haven't got bored of it so far, so that's a that's a good sign. But yeah, I was praising it in episode one. But in the back of my head, I was like, I'm, I'm probably going to get bored of this as the playthrough goes on. But yeah, I haven't got bored of it so far. So that's that's good. Because I was worried about that. I was worried that I was going to get bored. That's one of the drawbacks of having a good long-term memory. I have a good long-term memory. My short-term memory is very bad, but I have very good long-term memory. Like, I can remember stuff from, like, 10-plus years ago easily, like it happened yesterday. And one of the drawbacks to that is uh, when I'm playing these games, I remember a lot of the stuff. And if you guys have ever, like, played play through a game and then try to play through it again immediately it could be kind of boring you know oh plants are number three now uh so yeah um even though it's been like 10 years i still remember so much about this game and i'm honestly surprised i'll be honest I'm oh crap i fought a plant there i'm gonna retreat I'm honestly surprised I haven't got bored of it. Just, just because I remember so much. Just put it in perspective, I haven't followed a guide to this whole thing. I've been everything's been my own memory. The only thing I've been following is like to know when a quest is available or not. Like, like if I reach a certain event rank, I'll look up: is there a quest available? That's pretty much all I've done this whole playthrough. By the way, if you run into a, a plant, you can just run from them, and you'll be good as long as you don't. As long as you don't get to a chain battle, you'll be good. I'm pretty sure retreating does not affect 
the ranking. So you can still retreat and uh, you'll be good. Does this thing bleed? Oh no, it's a zombie. Honestly, I wonder how much Jamil has actually helped his uh, thug class. I wonder how much extra money we've gotten throughout this playthrough for having Jamil. I, mustn't turn from the enemy, no matter how mighty I think, like I said on the next playthrough, I'm 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 doing it too. I'm gonna do a party of uh, the or party of thugs. I don't care. No one's stopping me from doing that. I'm doing it. I'm making a party of thieves. Or not thieves, I mean thugs. Party of thugs. And I want to see if it stacks. I'm obviously going to test it first. Oh, plants are number one. Alright. Let's go to Mount Tamae. We'll head on over to Mount Tamae. Home of Pyrex. And we'll turn in the quest. Is that all you got? Oh crap. Stupid lizard. Idiots, attack me from behind again. All right, mount to my A. And we'll go straight ahead here and we'll go to Pyrex. I'm gonna save it before entering Pyrex's lair because for those of you who don't know, there's an evil Pyrex. Uh. I don't really know how to trigger the fight against him, but I think you have to have like a certain favor with Sorrowing, I think, or something. I don't know for sure, but I think you have to be on like the second playthrough as well. I don't know if you could do it in the first playthrough, but just to be safe, I'm going to save it. All right, so we get like an axe. Use this in case of emergency. I may stop by to lend a hand. Thank you, Pyrex. Axe of Kings, <clears throat> two hundred and sixty-eight jewels. All right. Let's see here. So it's a two-handed axe. Increases strength just by equipping it. You get a strength boost. So we'll give that to Gilaha. Plus nine, uh, plus five strength. His weight's up to eighty-four though. Holy crap! <laughs> eighty-four weight. Pretty heavy weapon, it adds 14. Yeah, you can summon Pyrex with it. Helps channel pyrological spells. Uh, you also inc increase your strength as well. So, it's worth equipping it just for the strength boost. Alright, so that is, um... What is it, um... Crap. 
That's plenty called you down. So we still have aquatic ecology and beast ecology. Now beast ecology is actually pretty difficult. Because you have to go through Mount Scurve. <clears throat> and um, obviously in Mount Scurve you have very narrow um, pathways. So it's hard to dodge enemies. So it's one of the more difficult, uh, one of the more difficult, um, what is it? One of the more difficult ecology quests. Alright, so, I guess we have time to go do that, I guess. Should be okay. You had a mount skiff. It's the tallest, most perilous peak in the columns. And it's home to the great lord of the birds. There's a chest over here. Great. I should actually go get my proficiency set up properly. You know what? Let's not do this yet in this episode. We'll do it in the next episode, guys. And we'll go get that treasure map in this episode. How about that? I think that'd be better. Because it's going to take me a while to... I'll complete that one. And we'll have more time to get the treasure map. Shouldn't take as long anyway. So first things first, I want to check every cave entrance. Oh, not. Oh, oh. They chained. I tried to get out of there, but it didn't work. See, I'm hitting over and it's like not working. Look, the fiends fight as one. By the way, we're bent. We're wow. If I could speak correctly, we're we're max event rank. By the way. Try these other caves over here. Cave, this is cave C. Nope, this isn't where the map is at. That's okay though, we can fight some enemies around here. Knock her, knock her unconscious. I could do Moonbeam to cure that. So that'll be okay. Alright, Jamil got unconscious too. Oh, it doesn't cure it? I thought it did. I guess I was wrong. I'm about to kill this lizard man then. to be annoying. There we go. I'll we'll start killing him here. So we don't die. Oh. Jackhammer. Run. Ron Deshay. 
however you pronounce that, Ron Dash. Too weak. Get back attack. Ah, oh, great. These things. These things are always scary. Is they going to flick life point damage on you? doing on life points anyway I don't yeah Albert lost one Ready? I wish it was always this easy passion strength a tortoise shell there Power for Monica there. <laughs> Lowered his strength and he raised his strength. Oh, the treasure map's not here either. Oh, this is a pretty dangerous fight. I just want to learn new techniques. Is it that hard to is that so much to ask? No one of my characters have level five. I thought one of my characters was level five. Maybe it's level four. Jamil died at the end, are you serious? Wow. I think one of my character's weapons are level 5. Or no. Oh yeah, yeah, Albert's is level 5, yep. That's what I thought. These little 5 with foil weapons. Herb. I always love a worthy opponent. Yep, not getting any glimmers, guys. I'm sad. I'm literally crying. Heads up, everyone. <clears throat> Agility HP. A lot of talisman, some money.
Compassion, Dexterity, Willpower, HP for Monica. How are we doing on HP, by the way? 562. Twelve hundred jewels. I could probably get yeah, I could probably get someone to level five on their weapon. I need to get three hundred more. I'll get that just naturally. Well after we complete the ecology we'll definitely have it. Nope, treasure map's not here either. I'm literally crying. Come on, I'm not trying to go back. Stupid camera angle. Bird 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 is the word. Bird 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 bird. What you? Oh, these enemies are pathetic. Fucking beginning of the game. Enemies here. Power gold. Holy crap. This is a dweller of Sutterine's world. Well, that deck poisons the entire party. Pretty dirty. I need to heal up some here. Yeah, let's take a turn to heal. I know Monica can't heal. That berserk. Great. I'm killing this thing right away. It does like ridiculous AoE. Not dividing my attacks this time against this thing. Crap. Gonna have to heal here. die. I thought it would die there, but it didn't. I think it's casting Snowstorm. Oh no, Blades of Wind. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> I think it has Snowstorm too. But luckily it didn't cast it there.
Most dead now. Charisma, Compassion, Scorpion. That's a, I think a spear, right? Yeah, it's a lance. Pretty good weapon there. I remember that weapon. Nice, we got the first strike. Holy crap. Hope it's time to do AoE. Dangerous battle. Yep, there we go. I'll finish the rest of them off here with doing the attacks I've been doing. Willpower, Compassion, BP, Charisma. over this way I guess oh, treasure's not here either new part of the jungle though Just give me a bear hug. Look like Good work, everyone. Peggy Crystal. Power and pelt. Great. Vorpal axe. A two handed axe with overwhelming destructive power. Okay, the treasure's here on this floor. Nice. Sorry about that, guys. This place is infested by zombies. He, he died, so I'm gonna have to resurrect him. Good 
Crap. Oh, too late. It's alright, though. Oh, there's a treasure right there. Wow. Two lizard man lords. Yeah, we need to kill these lizard man lords. Or they start, um. Knocking us unconscious or killing us. I'll learn insight. Monica, learn insight. Nice. And then insight will allow her to learn another skill too. Uh. Yeah, still blade. That's handy. Man, stop knocking us unconscious. Yeah, so inside's a defensive technique. Sometimes decreases willpower. That could be pretty good. Yeah, we actually want to use that now. Because I want to try to get the other technique. There we go, Ron Dash. Oh, let's grab the treasure here. Great. 1600 gold and 20 jewels, alabaster ring. Okay. We're gonna have to store some stuff too. When I get back to base. Alabaster ring increases intellect, willpower, compassion, and charisma. So basically, good for a mage. Grants immunity to poison. I think we got one of those earlier as well, though. Okay, we got a boss up ahead here, looks like. I don't honestly remember this fight. What is this boss? Against who do we have to fight here? I honestly don't remember. I know I fought this thing before, but I don't remember what it is. Little lizard, big lizard. A lot of big lizards. <laughs> and one from behind too. It's boss time. Against? Oh, this is an easy battle. Wow, you get, this is like the most enemies in one battle. Four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Pretty insane, man. It's gonna be easy, of course, since we're so over leveled for this fight, but. Hey. Now, if these were elite scouts, I'd be a little bit scared. <laughs> like, we might. If, it's, if it, it had seven elite scouts, well, I probably would lose, honestly. Nah, because I have AoE. I, I, I probably wouldn't lose, but it'd be a close fight, I think. If they AoE, if, if they went first and like do like the tail swing and like lock down Sif or whatever, it could be bad. But I think if all the AoEs went through, it'd be able to kill the elite scouts. But yeah, that was obviously 
<laughs> just regular lizard men who are very easy. We fought those way early on in the game. So, easy fight. Alright, let's get the treasure up ahead here, or whatever's up ahead. And... Great. Thousand gold, and a Raksha sword. Okay, I'll equip the Raksha sword on somebody uh, to boost attack power. Um, I think these already, yeah, these already increased strength. Uh, holy stuff I can get rid of, though. And we can equip the Raksha sword. Boom. Plus 12 the strength for him. He's up to 66 strength for Galaha. Now you may be wondering why I give the strength boosting stuff to Galaha. Well, martial arts um, don't really have a, like, uh, you can't obviously equip weapons of martial arts, right? It's just automatic thing. And... They get, I, th I think they scale more with strength than other weapon types. So, they get more of a benefit from strength and stuff, I think. Now, don't quote me on that, obviously, but I think that's the case. Anyway, I think I'll give the Holy Staff to him. Alright guys, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Or we'll do Beast Ecology later.